guys, it's Tracy and I'm back with a video today. It's just a little chit chatty. Um, get ready with me. I am in my bathroom filming this and um, yeah, you guys let me know if you like it when I'm in here or if you like it in the other room better. I'm um, using my phone again, my iPhone X, and I already had filmed a get ready with me and I don't know what happened but the video got like distorted or I don't know what happened to it so that was that one I'm not gonna upload so I'm gonna do this one now and I had a couple things written down that I was gonna talk about while I get ready and I'm not doing any foundation today because as you can see my lip is like I don't know it's like I thought it was going away now it seems like it's coming back and I've taken so much medicine for it so I don't know like what's going on with it but I'm not putting any foundation. Today I had an appointment for the DMV to get my new driver's license. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Clay Play palette. And I'm gonna use that alongside the, what is this, Glam Metals by Crown. I'm gonna use this for some sparkle. And then the Tarte for the other stuff. So let's see, the first, so the first thing I was going to tell you guys is if you don't see me for a little while, which may happen, I don't, I don't know if it will or not right away, I don't know when, but I might be gone for a little bit because um, my front, one of my front teeth broke off or the root of it, it broke at the root of my front tooth. So my front tooth may fall out and I won't have a front tooth. And my insurance doesn't, I'm on disability and pretty much they don't care if you don't have any kind of coverage. They'll like pay to pull the tooth out maybe, but they won't pay to, they, and there is no saving the tooth. It was already a tooth that had a root canal done on it and it has a crown. And now it just, I guess when I had seen the dentist before, it's been a while, like a couple years. And he said that the tooth that I had the root canal on with the crown had a cavity inside it and the whole tooth was like just basically gone. And I didn't, I was like, what? So he told me that a couple years ago and I've just been really, really extra, extra careful whenever I eat because I was afraid it was gonna snap and just fall out. So yeah, it. I bit into something the other day and yeah, it. I could. It broke. So I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. I don't know what you know what's gonna happen with it. I. I just don't know. So if my uh, tooth falls out, I definitely will not be getting on to YouTube and making any videos. So. If you guys see that I'm gone for a little while, or a long while, I don't know. So hopefully, I, 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 I just don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, that's been really upsetting, and I've been crying, and like, it's just, I'm just like so disgusted because like when I was working, I had, you know, health insurance, dental insurance, but since I've been on disability, it's like they don't care if, you know, they don't care. Like, I get the same, you know, stuff like Medi-Cal, I guess it's, you know, Dentical, I think they call it. So, that's all I have, and they don't want to pay, you know, for anything. So, they weren't paying it for anything at all until the beginning of the year, I think. They weren't paying for anything for adults at all. Like, you couldn't go in for anything. You wouldn't get anything done. They they just didn't cover. So they did just start covering some other stuff. But it's, you know, not... It's just like the bare, bare bones kind of thing. Not anything, you know. And, I mean, this is, like, complicated because I'm going to have to go to an oral surgeon to get it out. And then I will be with no tooth there. So... And I, oh my God, like anybody that has had like a horrible experience at a dentist, I was in the fourth grade and I had a root canal done. Fourth grade it was on one of my bottom teeth and the dentist that worked on me, God, don't cry. 
He worked on the tooth, infected, and I felt every bit of it. I was screaming. It hurt so bad. The tooth was infected, so therefore the Novocaine did nothing. Because when you have an infected tooth and they, they can put Novocaine in it, but the infection blocks it. So I basically had a root canal with uh, no Novocaine in the fourth grade. And I was screaming and I was, my mom was in there holding my hand and I was like squeezing her hand so hard. And like when I got older and had my own kids, I am like, are you kidding me? How could you let them do that to me? And she's like, well, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, if they would have did that to my kid, I would have pulled my kid out of that chair. And so, I mean, I've been petrified to go to the dentist ever since. So, just, I, and I don't even have a dentist really. So I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I know this sounds like really stupid and I've been trying to talk myself to myself and tell myself, you know what? Could always be worse. You know, you could be in a car accident. You could do, you know, you could be this, you could be that. I, you know, I've been trying to like tell myself stuff, but it doesn't really help when, you know, you're facing not having a front tooth. So I, do, you know, I, like I said, I've been trying to tell myself, you know, something will work out. Like some, you know, I, I don't even know. So I, there was an accident on the freeway and I was like, same car as me, a Honda. And I was like, oh, wow, that could have been me. You know, that person got killed. Some idiot went on, to, the police were following this guy. And he went on to the on-ramp of the freeway going the wrong way. And he ran into this car head on and the person in that car got killed. And of course, they pulled him out of his car and he was fine. He was walking, took him to the hospital, have him checked out, but... I'm sure he'll be just fine. And that other person died, you know, because of some idiot. So I've, you know, I just like, I watch the news and I live really close to, I know you guys all have heard about that couple with the 13 kids that was uh, torturing them and abusing them and having them chained up. I live like a town over from there. Riverside County is uh, where they, they were in Paris. And it's just like down the expressway from me. And then the next day after that, a skydiver that was di diving out of Sky Paris, which says what Paris has a skydiving center. His chute didn't deploy. And then he tried his um, backup parachute and he didn't do it in time and he landed on someone's roof and he was killed so like I'm trying you know I, I just like try to tell myself okay you know it's not that bad like it'll be okay and I know I'm just rambling here now because like I haven't really talked to anyone about this or told anybody like how I'm feeling because I don't know who knows I might not even post this I don't even know so anyway that's you know that's what's going to be going on if something happens and you don't see me that's going to be why <laughs> So let's see, I had a couple things written down. Uh, let's see, if you guys do YouTube, you know about this. People that come on your channel and say, oh, I subscribe to you, sub for sub, subscribe back, or something like that. And anyone who's been doing YouTube for any amount of time, I knew this before I did YouTube, and the big no is you don't go to people's channels and do that. That is like one of the first like no's is like, no, you don't do that. And I've been having so many people come on my channel and leave me that. Or a lot of times YouTube just deletes it because that's spam. That is considered spamming someone's account. So I have a bunch of people that keep doing that, you know, saying, oh, I'll subscribe if you subscribe back. And it's like, I'm not doing this just for the subscriber count. You know, I'm doing this because it's fun and it's giving me an outlet and somebody to talk to, even if I'm just talking to myself and my dogs. But I just, like, I, I don't understand how these people don't know, you know, I mean, they must know, they just do it anyway, I guess, is what it is. So I've been getting people doing that to me a lot lately. And I, I you know, like I said, I'm not... I'm not in a race to try to get to, you know, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. I'm not going to make any money doing this. So, I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, trying to get to this number where I'm going to make a bunch of money. So, 
that just is one thing I had on my list about, you know, people who do that. And then they don't, it's like they're not even really a true subscriber because they they are just after the, you know, the, the numbers. And the, those are the kind of people that are not even watching the video. Like I could post a video and yeah, they might be subscribed, but they're not watching. So, I mean, that's what matters is if people watch. To me anyway, that's what matters. So, yeah. So if you're watching this and you're doing that on people's accounts, that's like the biggest no to do to people. So if you are doing that, please stop because that is, people hate that. Ch channels hate when people do that. And like, I knew that before I even started YouTube. I knew that that was like, whoa, you don't do that. I mean, it's tempting, yeah, because you think, oh, maybe somebody will, you know, see it and then they'll come to my channel. But I mean, that's not the way it works. You know, you have to work to get your subscribers. Like I went to a channel the other day and the lady, I think she's about my age or maybe younger. I don't know. I'm going to be 48 next month. And I think the name of her channel is Bar Barbells and Beauty. She's a new channel too. I'll try to link her below. And I went to her channel. I saw a video. I just somehow ran across her and I saw her video and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I saw like her age and she just seemed genuine, kind of down to earth. I can't remember what her name is though. And, um, like I subscribed to her channel because I saw stuff on her channel that I liked. And then she saw that I had a channel and she subscribed back. I didn't say, Hey, subscribe to my channel. I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me. You know, like I want genuine subscribers. I don't want people that are saying, well, I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me. Cause that's not that like, you know, if you have a thousand subscribers and only five people watch, who cares? So yeah, that's just, that was on my, my little rant list. <laughs> and then um, I know there's got to be some people out there that drink Coke or Diet Coke. And you know the Coke codes that you get? Like I have like a humongous like grocery bags full of these codes. But Coke only lets you upload so many of the codes, like a week, I think. And... Like, I'm like, they don't limit how much Coke I can buy. And I mean, I was drinking a lot of Diet Coke. I don't drink it anymore. I've stopped, you know, like I don't buy it and bring it home or anything. If I'm out, I might have a Diet Coke, but I don't bring it home anymore. And I used to have like 12 packs in my fridge all the time. And I would just guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. And I stopped doing that. My daughter's been after me to stop drinking Coke. So I don't drink Diet Coke only on a rare occasion. I drink a ton of water. I drink like a gallon of water a day. So with the medications that I'm on, it makes your mouth like really, really dry. Like it's like the Sahara Desert sometimes. And like my lips will like stick to my teeth sometimes. So like anybody that knows me, I always have a water bottle with me. So yeah, I, I just think Coke, you let me buy all I want and I can't upload all of my codes. That's not fair. Anyway, lightheartedly, ha ha ha. And then, um, oh yeah, my brows. Let's see my brows. I've been, I told you guys I was gonna let them grow out. I mean, they're growing out. They're looking crazy because I haven't plucked them since um, December 1st is when I started to use this castor oil on them. I put it on every night. And honestly, I don't think it has done anything because I'm, I look at my brows and I'm thinking, you know, like my brows would have probably grown this much without it. So the 1st of February, I'm going to stop the castor oil and I'm going to do the Rogaine for women. You just take a Q-tip and put it on every night. And I have done that before and that does work. The only thing is you have to keep doing it. If you stop, then the hair will go away. But I mean, I don't mind doing something if I, I'm in my nightly routine, you know, and just have to do that. And that's cool. So yeah, that was another thing and then let's see oh yeah all this stuff with going on with tart i mean this is like i'm sure that they are just thinking oh lord but i'm like you know what if they i'm not gonna buy it but like if they don't make your shade don't buy from them there's plenty of other companies that you can buy for stuff from and they said that they had 15 shades and then they said that they were going to bring out 10 more shades but it wasn't really 10 more shades it was actually five because it was going to be five for the matte and five for the hydrating so a total of 20 shades i mean i don't know if like i said if they don't have your color go somewhere else and then um the new um hydrating one 
is an old product repackaged in a new package. It is actually the Tarte Hydrogel foundation that comes in the little pot. That's what's in the hydrating bottle that they're saying is, you know, the new Shape Tape foundation. That's what that is. It's exactly the same. And people started figuring that out. And now Tarte has removed that from their website. They don't have that hydrogel on there anymore. They removed it. So I think that's kind of shady of them. But anyway, that's crazy. So yeah, that's how my brows are doing. That's about my tooth. And I had an accident at the grocery store the other day. We were at Target and my husband had beer in the cart and we went outside and the t basket tipped over and then it hit me on my leg, the wheels. And I have a tattoo down the, my left leg. That's where the basket hit me and I could feel it. And I'm like, oh, it's gonna be like a bruise. But I'm like, you can't see it. But yeah, you can see it. And it's like coming out outside of the tattoo even. And it's like so sore. So that was like a total blunder of me. And then my lip, I, I don't know what's going on with my lip. This is just not wanting to clear up and putting anything on. I've been putting, you know, all kinds of stuff on it and it's just not, not going away. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop there because this is going to be pretty long since I'm just rambling on and I just wanted to kind of talk and, you know, tell you guys what was going on. Like if you don't see me or if you just see products and hear my voice and no, no face, that's why. But yeah, so, okay, that's going to do it for me for now, guys. I didn't really finish getting ready, but I think I talked too much. So I'll finish and then, yeah, off to the DMV. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and being good to yourselves and to your family. And uh, yeah, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. It's